GCSE factorization and expansion. Now, this is also obviously relevant for GCSE as well. Um, it's just that I happen to teach IGCSE. Okay, so in these examples, we're firstly going to factorize. Factorizing means putting in brackets, okay, and bringing out the highest common factors. Okay, so in this case, we've got three terms, and it's really obvious what the common factor is, I hope, is that there's four in each of them. Okay, so now we just have to ask ourselves, what do we multiply four by to get four P? It's P. And what about Q? For, uh, for Q, well, it's just Q, and then so on for R, okay? So if we were to times it out, for instance, and expand the bracket now, four times P, four P, four Q, four R would be the three terms that come out. In the second example, we look at 10, 20, and 30. They're all obvious multiples of 10, and they have the highest common factor of 10 as well. Now let's look at the letters. We've got A, B, C in the first, A, B, C in the second. In fact, we've got A squared, B, C in the first. And we've just got A in the third. So the most that we can bring outside of the bracket as a common factor to all three is A. Okay. Now we have to ask ourselves, what will we multiply this outside common factor term um, by to make each of the terms? So 10 multiplied by 3 gives us a 30. We need to make an A squared. We've already got A to the power 1, so it's going to be another A. And then we've got the B, C. We've then got a 20 to make in the second term, so that's two. We've already got the A sitting outside, so it's B, C. And in the, in the third term, okay, many candidates struggle with this. What do we multiply 10A by to make a 10A? Well, it's just one, okay? And it was a much more complex example than the first, but we got there. Okay, question three. Now, these are really interesting problems because they do stump many candidates. And actually, um, it's okay if you know the trick. Um, looking at this on first sight, each of the terms is very different. We've got A, B, just B, just A, and just a number, okay? So no obvious common factors for all four. However, if we deal with it in two halves and just look at the first pair, A, B, and 2B have the common factor of B, okay? So what goes into the brackets is A plus two. In the second pairing of uh, terms, we've got 4a and 8. Now, there's only a in one of them, so a doesn't come outside of the bracket, but 4 and 8 have a, have a highest common factor of 4. And now what goes inside the bracket? a plus 2. Well, fancy that, they match. Okay, so a plus 2 is actually a factor of both of these terms. We could think of it now as being two terms, two products. Okay. And a plus two is common to both of them. We just now need to ask ourselves, what is it that we're multiplying a plus two by in these two terms? Well, the first thing we do is we multiply a plus two by b. And the second thing that's being multiplied by a plus two is four. And what we end up with there is that we've actually factorized this expression of four terms into two brackets, okay? We could go in and um, convince ourselves of this, that we've done it properly, by multiplying it out now using what I call the smiley face method, making two eyebrows, a nose, and a mouth. Can you see that face? Okay, so what I've got here is, uh, if we check the left eyebrow, I've got A times B. There's my AB. I've got my right eyebrow, which is 4 times 2, which is 8. I've got 4A, my nose. There's that one. And I've got 2B, which is my mouth, which is this one. Hopefully you can see that and you understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so multiplying each of the terms by each of the other terms in the opposite bracket will um, result in these four terms above. Okay, let's go practice it again. Again, we can see that we've got two obvious pairings. We've got 3 and 9. Okay, I can see that 3 is the highest common factor there and K. Okay, definitely sort of a different, you know, different sort of family of common factors happening here to this one. Okay, we'll deal with both separately. So we've got, um, we've got J, um, 3JK, so 3K multiplied by J is, is this one. And then what do we multiply 3K by to make 9K? It's three. Over here, we've got um, highest common factor is five. We've got J in each one, okay? This one is actually J squared, so it's gonna be 5J multiplied by J, 5J squared. And then over here, what do we multiply 5j by to make 15j? It's 3, okay? 
And again, what we found is that we've got J plus three being the common factor. So what would go in this first bracket? Well, look above what we did. We had B and four in front of the two matching brackets. So here we've got three K is the first term that's being multiplied by this common bracket. And then we've got five J. Okay, so again, we've managed to factorize that very complicated looking expression of four terms into two brackets. Okay, and as I said, they're quite common questions. They come up at IGCSE level and uh, I'm sure GCSE level too. Okay, last type. Now we're going to go and do the opposite process now to factorizing, which is to expand. This means to actually um, multiply out the brackets. Last time we were, we were putting the brackets in, taking out the common factor. Now we're going to be expanding it. So multiplying everything inside the bracket by the outside term. So X multiplied by Y gives us X, Y. X multiplied by one is X. Over here, we've got Y multiplied by X and we've got um, Y multiplied by two, which is two Y. Okay, now please notice that these two are actually the same because you must agree that two times three equals three times two. It doesn't matter if we're multiplying, what order we write it in. So X, Y is also equal to Y, X. Okay, so if I actually, I could just turn it around to come to, to make it a bit clearer. X, Y plus X plus X, Y plus two Y. And now I can start to gather up the like terms. I've got X, Y plus X, Y, so I've got two X, Y. I've got plus X and I've got plus two Y, okay? These are unlike terms. This is an X term, this is a Y term, this is an X, Y term. So gathering up the like terms, that's as simple as I can get it, okay? Um, and let's go and look at one final example. So three multiplied by two X gives us six X. Three multiplied by two is six. Over here, I've got four multiplied by three X, which is 12 X. I've got four multiplied by minus one, which is minus four. Um, let's gather up the like terms again. I've got two X terms, six X and 12 X. So I've got 18 X. And now looking at the numbers, I've got six subtract four, which is plus two. So my final answer, 18 X plus two. Okay, so just some really common questions there. Um, just going a little bit further with expansion and factorization. Um, and I hope that's been really useful. Okay, don't forget to subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks.